Life is unpredictable. We often assume we have endless time to chase our dreams, but reality tells a different story. Our time here is limited, and sometimes the end arrives suddenly and painfully. Joshua Gray was a young student from Texas who lived with his mother, Mrs. Lori Gray, in a nice, cozy house in a suburban neighborhood. The Gray family's life was not notable for anything in particular, except perhaps for the fact that there was no Mr. Gray, whom Josh could have called daddy since he abandoned him when he was still a six-month-old baby. Josh's dad wasn't around while he was growing up, but that didn't make him sad or feel like something was missing. His mom worked hard every day to be the best mom she could be, and she did a great job. Joshua is known for being a good student and excelling in golf and swimming, which he loves. He's also a wonderful person that everyone respects and loves. Lori Gray, Josh's mom, was really proud of the person her son was becoming. She believed he would do great things in life. That year, Josh had to make a big decision about what he wanted to do after high school, like choosing a career or which colleges to apply to. Do you know what you want to do for a living? Mrs. Gray asked her son a few weeks before he finished high school. Joshua was a young man full of talents, which was wonderful and allowed him to excel in whatever he did. But at the same time, it made it much more difficult for him to know what to choose and dedicate himself to only one thing in life. By the time he reached his senior year of high school, the young man was torn between three careers, musician, computer engineer, or a late athlete. In any of the three options, he would have succeeded. Everyone knew that, but Josh had the final word. Joshua was unsure about his future. He told his mom that his teachers advised him to choose something he couldn't stop thinking about, something that excited him so much he couldn't sleep, and something that made him want to be a better person. All he could think about was playing sports, even though he was a bit scared about his decision. In recent weeks, Joshua had been quieter than usual because he was nervous about making the right choice. He had always been confident, but this decision was weighing on him, and he felt the pressure to meet everyone's expectations when he went off to college. Honey, I want you to know that I will be proud of you whatever you decide, okay. Even if you don't want to do any of those things, I will always support you. I'm your mother, and my greatest wish is for you to be happy, and that comes before the success you may have in life and the career you decide to study. The first thing is for you to be well. Do you understand, Josh? Miss Gray said lovingly to her son as she stroked his back affectionately and smiled at him. Lori knew her son needed to hear her say that because for the past few months, everyone had been telling him what he should or shouldn't do. She was his mother, and she had to relieve him of all the pressure. Only then would he be free to choose. I know, Mom. I promise you that as soon as I have made a decision, you'll be the first to know. I just need to rest. Tomorrow, I'm sure I'll be in a much better mood and I'll have clear ideas. I haven't slept much for the past several days, that's all, assured the young man while he put a couple of books in his backpack and got ready to go to school. Unfortunately, Joshua would never get the chance to tell his mother what he had decided because the morning after that conversation would become the last morning of his life. It all happened on a random Tuesday in Perlin, Texas. 17-year-old Joshua Gray was getting ready to go to one of his last days of high school at Glenda Dawson High School. That morning, Joshua was really happy because he got a good night's sleep and had a sense of what his future might hold. His mom greeted him with a warm hug as he came down for breakfast. She made his favorite sandwich, turkey without crust, which he had loved since kindergarten. Josh grabbed it and left for school with his friends who gave him a ride. Little did they know it would be the last breakfast they'd share. Even though Joshua seemed healthy, smart, and outgoing, that Tuesday would be his last. He never got to eat his favorite turkey sandwich for lunch, and he couldn't share his college plans with anyone. His life would not have a happy ending, but would inevitably have an ending, a very unfair and painful one that no one would ever forget. It all started while Joshua was in math class. Everyone was silent, listening to the professor give the lesson, and it was impossible to foresee what was going to happen a few moments later. Young Gray barely had a few hours to live, but no one could have known that he was about to become seriously ill while sitting in class, taking notes. Around 11 o'clock a.m., Josh began to feel an intense stomach ache. The pain was so bad that he couldn't stand it any longer in class and headed to the school infirmary as fast as he could. However, when he got there and was attended to by the nurse, it became very clear that this was not a normal stomach ache as the pain was getting more and more intense and Josh was feeling worse and worse. I can't stand it. Please make it stop. 
It hurts so much, ma'am, were the last words that young Joshua could say to the nurse before losing consciousness because of the intense pain. Seeing that Josh's condition was critical, the nurse rushed to call emergency services and rushed the teenager to Texas Children's Hospital. But it was too late. Doctors rushed to try to save his life as he repeatedly lost his pulse. They managed to resuscitate him twice, but by the afternoon, he passed away. His body could no longer withstand the pain, and at 5 o'clock in the afternoon, his heart stopped for good. Everyone was devastated, and no one could explain what had happened to a student who was simply attending class like any other day. How could it happen so quickly? It was a freak accident. His mother was at work when it all happened, and when she received the fatal news, she was devastated. When she arrived at the hospital, she burst into tears, hugging the lifeless body of her little boy. It was a truly heartbreaking moment. There are no answers. No one knows what happened. His mother, Lori Gray, explained to the media who came to the hospital to cover the unexpected and mysterious death of her son. At 11.30 a.m., it was just a stomach ache, and by 5 o'clock p.m., he's gone. She admitted in tears. Family and friends could only speculate as they gathered at the Gray home that Tuesday night. They told stories about his life as they gathered around his belongings, his collection of Beatles and Strokes records, his photo of Mards, a Kermit the Frog cushion, a giant-sized Darth Vader figurine, and a coat rack overflowing with the shoes he collected over the years. Gray, aside from being a model student, was also a people person who impressed his friends with his hipster sense of style. On his last day, he wore the tightest chakas his mother recalled sadly. Young Joshua was a typical teenager. He enjoyed playing golf, did well in school, had a healthy appetite, and liked to sleep. Nobody expected any health issues. His sudden death left the community baffled. The medical examiner, with 40 years of experience, couldn't explain it. There was no way to prevent this unexpected tragedy. Lori desperately wanted to know why her young and vibrant son had to leave so suddenly, without a chance to fight for his life. She sought answers to find peace and understand why she had to say goodbye to her beloved son so early. That's all she asked for. Thankfully, a few weeks later, doctors discovered that Josh had a ruptured artery leading to his pancreas, which led to uncontrollable bleeding and his death. They also found that this rupture might have been due to a birth defect, making it unpreventable. Joshua's fate was sealed from birth. After finding out the true cause of her son's untimely death, Laura Gray created a fundraising campaign on GoFundMe in honor of her beloved son, with a goal of researching a cure for rare underlying diseases like the one that ended Josh's life in just a few hours. The campaign was a real success, and in just a couple of weeks, they had already managed to raise over $35,000. With this money, they could also create a scholarship in memory of Joshua Gray and help fund the top students in each graduating class. Josh Gray's mom said, my son would be proud that he could help others and make their dreams come true. His death wasn't for nothing because the money raised is used for medical research, saving lives, and preventing other moms from going through what I did. Joshua Gray's story reminds us that every day is valuable, and we should cherish our loved ones because we never know when we might lose them.